This is a demonstration of single slit diffraction. When a laser beam, this is a, I'm putting my hand in the beam here, this laser beam is incident on this circular dial that allows me to dial in the width of a slit through which the laser beam passes. So it's passing through this slit of various widths that I'll show you and then having passed through the vertical slits uh, produces a pattern on the screen here. So the, the, the width uh, and what you see in this pattern is a central bright spot and then dimmer spots to either side. This is called the M equals zero maximum, the M equals one on either side of that, M equals two, etc. cetera. With, uh, a constructive or destructive interference, namely a dark spot uh, at the edge of each bright spot. So this is for a slit width of 0 0.02 millimeters. If we move to 0 0.04 millimeters, what you see is a pattern that's tighter with uh, bright spots that are less wide. So as we increase the slit width, this is 0 0.08, the pattern gets even tighter, and then for 0 0.16, a pattern that's very, very tight. We can also do the same with circular apertures. So this is a circular, instead of being a slit through which the laser beam is pointed, this is a circular aperture. The laser beam is incident on a hole and, and blocked from passing outside the hole and only goes through that hole. And what you see here is a pattern with a central bright spot in the middle, but then rings around it that are reminiscent of the uh, dots that appeared in the, in the single slit pattern. This is a very important pattern, the, the pattern produced by a circular aperture, and it's important in, in resolving stars and has uh, relevance to the Rayleigh criterion where you have a central dot that, to, to resolve two stars, you have to take into account this diffraction pattern from the aperture. This is a smaller aperture. The earlier aperture was 0 0.2 millimeters, and this is 0 0.4. It may or may not be visible on the camera. It's a very, very small um, diffraction pattern from that circular aperture. So that is diffraction patterns from single slits and circular apertures.